guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and it's only been a week since the last video I made so that is amazing for me. <laughs> anyway, so for today's video, this kind of got inspired by a TikTok video that I made. Um, so basically I just literally did a TikTok of a put a finger down concert edition and I answer like nine out of ten fingers were down so I thought I would kind of do this into a video to kind of like go into a bit more explanation of the like the thing the fingers that I put down basically <laughs> that makes sense and because I have pretty good stories so I thought I'd make this into like a video kind of thing if that makes sense so it's going to be concert q and a um and all the questions there's 10 questions and they're literally from a tiktok video so i don't know who created that tiktok trend um but yeah thanks and i'd definitely give you some credit if i knew who you were but yeah so i thought i would kind of answer them and go into detail on a video on youtube because why not because concerts are like one of the things I love doing um so yeah so let's jump into the video and if you guys do want to join along make sure you answer the, the make sure you answer the questions down in the comments section below and yeah so let's get into it so the first question is have you ever been front row and if so for which concert um I think I've only been front row I've been front row for the wanted kind mm, their actual tour kind of um so like it was be literally the tour before they split up and the tickets we got we didn't realize were kind of like a front row ticket until we got down there so basically it they had a catwalk and like say like that's the that's the front of the catwalk we were basically the seat in front of the catwalk but we didn't know at the time of booking it it was literally such a shock um when we went down to our seats so that's that was like my front row for the one in concert and then i was also front row for chester rocks i can't remember what year that was but i was front row for chester rocks and i've also been front row for kovic any other front rows i think that's it i don't buy expensive tickets because i don't see the point but i have been front row oh i've been front row for another one the birmingham festival what was the Birmingham Festival? I kind of blocked that one out because I had bad, 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 bad things happen there. <laughs> That's another story. But there was also one in Birmingham. What was it called? Fusion, Fusion Live or whatever it was. Fusion Fest. That one. That was also for the Wanted because the Wanted were performing at Fusion Fest. So yeah, I was also front row for them. But all the other times I've not been front row. I was literally only front row for these guys. For most of the the festivals because i camped overnight for them and also for kovic because obviously it's kovic and i know them and also the one it wasn't like we didn't really know it was a front row ticket it wasn't even that expensive so yeah that's my front row experience ones and there's probably going to be more to come hopefully even though the tickets are ridiculous prices like i don't understand it so the second question is, have you ever gone to a concert alone? And this is the one that I didn't put a finger down for because I've never been to a concert alone. Luckily, me and my sister share a love for concerts. So no matter what, we will go together. And also I know a lot of my friends like concerts. So yeah, I've never ever been to a concert alone, luckily. If I had to, I will, but I've never had to. So yeah. The third question is, have you ever stressed over a concert outfit? yes i stress over concert outfits all the time i don't not so much now i did more when i was younger but yeah like i always used to stress over concert outfits i used to be like some of my mates what are you wearing i need to wear something similar look nice like you guys <laughs> yeah i used to stress over them all the time i don't so much now but i do still plan my outfits if that makes sense but yeah Number four is, have you ever known every song on the set list? And yeah, I do all the time. I think it's only a few times where I've not. And it's only like a few songs. It's probably because, well, I, I know the song. I just don't know all the lyrics sometimes. Um, 
and that's probably just because it's not like a favorite song of mine if that makes sense but nine times out of ten i know every single lyric of every single song like if i went to a wanted concert i'd know all of theirs apart from colors because for some reason i can't seem to get the colors stuck in my head um and i also know all of Kovix. so yeah pretty much nine times out of ten yeah i would say number five is have you ever been noticed by your favorite artist during a show and uh, yes i got noticed by the wanted ages ago and like before they split up i always remember the one time when max <laughs> they were singing what's like rihanna and max looked me dead in the eye and was like malvin this is so camp <laughs> And also, when we, one time, me and my friend at the time, we're not friends anymore, we took a banner saying we love Kelsey more than Tom for the wanted, and uh, all the, literally we got that, the, all of them were shaking their heads at us, they were laughing, Tom stuck his finger up at us, it was just the funniest thing ever, um, and yeah, obviously I get shout outs of Kovic as well, if you've never seen any of them videos, always, they always notice us during their concerts and yeah i've never really been that close to like for them to actually notice other like other than that but yeah that's pretty much it for them what's the next one have you ever traveled to see your favorite artist yes i have um i've traveled all over pretty much england for the wanted and I've been all over England pretty much for Kovic and I've also been to Germany for Kovic and oh I've been I wouldn't say he's not my favourite artist I've been to Wales for Olly Murs, but that was just for my sister yeah I think that's pretty much it for them but yeah I've been quite a few places because is I always think that going to different cities is always a different experience like, I don't know if any of you guys agree that if you've ever been to another city for an artist, like different cities, more than one, would you agree that there's like different atmospheres for different cities? Like, I always, that's what I've always noticed and I always think, even though it's like the same show, it's different. Like, I can't even explain it. It's always like a different vibe, a different, yeah, it's just completely different. And there's never a show that's the same, even if it's like, the same set list and the same people but if it's a different city there's never a show that's the same like i can't explain it unless you've ever done it before the next question number seven is have you ever waited overnight to get front row yes i have i've camped out i don't think my mum knows i've actually camped out i basically camped out for fusion fest but it was quite cute because all the wanted family was there and we all like looked after each other even if people didn't get on with each other we all looked after each other we had like little tents and stuff. It was actually quite cool. And then also I kind of did for Chester Rocks and then we made friends with the security guards that were there. And yeah, they're the only two times, but I've never, I don't think I'd ever do it again because it's just, it's not worth it. I'm telling you now, it's not worth it. The lack of sleep I had and energy I had, like, cause you just don't eat and you just don't sleep. It's, it's really bad. Don't ever do it. Honestly, it's not worth it. Number eight is, have you ever scored a set list or a guitar pick? I have. I basically had a guitar pick off Kovic, but that's about it. And yeah, I've always wanted like the set list and stuff, but I never, I don't know how to get a set list. I literally don't know how to get a set list after a tour, like after a concert. I just don't understand how to do it. So everybody that does it, like, give me a tips, guys. Just give me a tips because I never know how to do it. Like, I think I'm a bit too scared to ask security and stuff. I don't know, I've just never been able to get a set list. But yeah. So a guitar pick is probably the only thing that I've scored. <laughs> Have you gone to a concert with your best friend? Yes, so I've been with my best friends, my sister, and yeah, it's just always so good to go with your friends and your sisters, because especially if you're into the same music and stuff, it's always so much more fun. Like, don't get me wrong, I think going by yourself would be fun as well, because like if any, anybody like me, like if I went by myself, I'd come out with friends because you're all there for the same reason. But I always love it when like you go with your best mates and your sisters and stuff. Like I've always, always gone with them. So yeah. And the last question is, have you ever seen an artist more than once? And yes, I have. I've seen the wanted loads. I've seen little mix loads. I've seen COVID loads. I've seen Olly Murs loads. Like, the list goes on. 
Like, it never gets boring either. Like, I'd never just want to go to a concert and just see them once. If I, if you have a, such a good time the first time, you're going to want to go again. Like, I don't understand. If you have such a good time, like, why would you not want to go again? Like, I don't understand that. Um, but, yeah. So, that is all the questions. If you have any more questions for me about concerts, it would be so cool. Um, let us know in the comments and I'll do, like, a part two to this. But I just thought this would be a fun video because concerts are something that I'm very intro into. And, yeah, like, my my life revolves, it revolves around concerts, get the words out. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you'd like a part two and comment some questions down below. I'd also love it if you guys could join along. Join along? That makes sense, right? Anyway, like, answer... Tell me your answers to the questions down below in the comment section and it'd be so cool to have a look. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and let, let me know also in the comments if there's any video suggestions you'd like because I'm having a bit of a brain block. I don't really know what to film. But yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!